Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Gavor Mesaros and this is the Genomics Bootcamp where we talk about genomics from the beginner's perspective. Uh, today we will talk about a very important topic that is the quality control of genomic data or QC if you want to sound fancy. Uh, well, the quality control is uh, something that you need to do before every single uh, analysis that you do. So uh, it is uh, quite important to do how it's done. Uh, you will see it's actually not so difficult, in particular when it is done with Plink. But well, if you don't know how to do it, uh, just check out the follow, following short video and you will see. Here we are back in R to do some quality control uh, of our data using the AdaptNav code data as an example. Just to reduce the typing within this video, I already started uh, with the script uh, and uh, written actually the large part of it. We will start, uh, or the script starts with clearing the workspace uh, in R. So this is the one that I use uh, all the time. This actually cr clears the workspace just in R, uh, but not does not delete any files that you have in the computer or in the working directory. So you can use this without any uh, fear of losing actually uh, any valuable data or anything on your, on your hard disk. Also, I have the working directory set to the, to the one that uh, I have my uh, data in. So this is uh, starting with the, uh, with the uh, Where, where, uh, where uh, data in dot dot dot, uh, where I have my plink file and the uh, my data files. Okay, uh, cut here. Let me just delete these uh, things and. Uh, cut back here again and continue. So here are the data, or here is the uh, working directory with the Plink executable file and the binary pet files of bed, beam and fam all in the same directory. We will do uh, what I would call a classical quality control with uh, control on terms of, of missingness per SNP, missingness per individual, for minor area frequency, and the Hardy-Weinberg threshold. And this is actually from the last uh, video, which we uh, somehow left in there. So quality uh, control, just to be clear also with the comment lines uh, that is uh, are very important uh, also in the general in, in the writing of uh, the computer scripts. So we will have everything in this uh, one line, this is, which is uh, quite recognizable for you, I guess, uh, if you watched the last video. So basically we uh, utilize again the system command, which will run the plink for us, starting with the, uh, well, the adaptmap uh, binary pet file, because this is what we have in our uh, working directory, we will make use of the fact that the cow or the cattle and goats have the same number of chromosomes, so we use the dash dash cow option. We will do, well it was, this was uh, not uh, stated previously, but we actually use a new option that is called dash dash make bed, that is will create the binary pet files as an output with the name of after QC, so we will have these uh, after QC uh, files, binary pet files on our computer when everything ends. Now there are two other useful uh, options that I use uh, all the time. That is uh, allow no sex and non founders. That is because in our data, uh, the sex of the individuals is missing, maybe for not for all of them, but for some of them, which can cause uh, some problems further up the line in some cases. And also the parents of the individuals are not stated. So technically all animals are founder individuals, which is uh, 
a problematic also in this case, for example, for the minority frequency uh, calculations when the finder animals are not included in the calculations. Now to counteract this, uh, because we want all the animals to be included in our quality control, we have to specify uh, the dash dash non founders option. So with this all set, uh, what we will do is extend this line and uh, perform the quality control. Now, uh, Plink is uh, an interesting program. And for me, I always like to look at it as a, a kind of a, a puzzle game or a, yeah, basically uh, something that you can extend uh, depending on what uh, output you want to get. So also in this case, so basically what we need to do is uh, put in these uh, criteria to perform the quality control. For, first, perhaps we just uh, run the, uh, without the quality control to see what happens then. Well, here the, the lines we starting with the hashtag are comment lines, so they're not executed. Like, but we, when we run this, uh, so we see this quite quick, but the more importantly, uh, this is the starting situation with the 53,000 and something uh, SNPs and uh, 4,600 and something uh, individuals, but this is exactly the same as for the output. And that's because we haven't done any quality control in the process. Now, when we want to do that, what we need to do is we need to uh, put in the appropriate option names and thresholds. So can we, we can start with the, from up with the uh, Gino, uh, writing dash dash Gino and the threshold of 0 0.1. So the dash dash Gino uh, option name is followed by a space and uh, with the value, the 0 0.1 actually denoting that all of the SNPs that have more than 10% uh, missing, so that are missing in more than 10% of the animals will be deleted. Similarly, if we write uh, dash dash mind, uh, meaning uh, that is a deletion of individuals based on the SNP missingness. So we again follow it up with the space and uh, having it uh, with a 0.1 threshold, meaning that animals with more than 10% missingness are deleted or animals uh, with more than 10% of their SNPs missing will be deleted. The same kind of uh, logic is followed by the deletion of the SNPs that have a very low minor array frequency with the MAF uh, option and followed up again by a space and 0 0.05, meaning that uh, any SNP with a minor alley frequency lower than 5% will be deleted. Now there is also this uh, Hardy-Weinberg uh, threshold, which is, uh, could be used in the, or commonly used in the quality control procedures, but because of the nature of the data right now with the very many populations, if we would use, uh, use a Hardy-Weinberg uh, quality control criteria, now uh, this would actually result into a deletion of a huge number of, uh, of SNPs and not because the data will be so uh, faulty or basically the genotyping would be so wrong, but just because we have a many, many populations in a same, same data set, which uh, have uh, vastly different uh, frequencies when it comes to uh, a generalized uh, uh, Hardy-Weinberg uh, limitations in the, uh, in the quality control. So we will, we will leave out, right, this Hardy, uh, so this uh, quality control threshold uh, right now. But uh, basically, if we uh, start this uh, run again, uh, what we will see is uh, we are have, we have the starting number of uh, SNPs and uh, individuals that are then reduced by 125 individuals because of the missingness per 
individual. Also, almost uh, 2,000 SNPs are removed uh, because missing uh, for a large number of animals, at least more, more than 10%. And uh, uh, 84 SNPs are removed because of the, miss, uh, the minor allele threshold. So with this, we, what we have is um, 51,000 and something SNPs uh, remaining and then uh, then uh, almost all the all the animals so 4528 animals that are remaining after qc now we have a, also a warning here that is uh, there are some haploti haploid genotypes present that is because these are also the sex chromosomes are still included and these are well what we have is uh, mostly for the for the male animals, uh, SNPs on, on, on a, uh, one X chromosome, so that is taken as, as haploid. So if we are interested just in the autosomal chromosomes, we can solve it, solve it very easily by including the uh, option uh, dash dash autosome that, uh, that uh, takes care of this and only the autosomal chromosomes will be uh, kept. So the SNPs on the unplaced uh, so-called zero chromosomes uh, and the sex chromosomes or any other chromosomes and autosomal will be deleted. So if we run this again, so we'll see that, uh, well, we do not have this warning message again. And also what we have a notably lower number of SNPs uh, just because the uh, zero, so the unplaced uh, SNPs and the SNPs on the sex chromosomes are removed. So, and uh, to wrap uh, up this part, so we see that the new files were created on our hard disk uh, according to our specifications. This is uh, the, it's called after QC. And uh, so what we have here are the BIM, uh, FAM and BAT files. So the binary BAT file format. So this is it. Uh, you see, it's not so, uh, not so difficult. And actually it's just, uh, yeah, more or less uh, figuring out uh, what are the limitations that you need to or put in or want to put in in your analysis for the quality control and just uh, well, running a single line in Flink. So this was a short introduction to the uh, genomic quality control using Flink. If you have any questions or comments, then uh, well, just leave them in the comment section below and I will uh, return to them. You can also evaluate the quality of this video by clicking on the like or dislike button. Uh, and also if you, uh, well, if you like the contents in general, then, then push the subscribe button. So I appear in your feed uh, more often. For today, I thank you for your attention. Thank you for your time and uh, have a nice uh, rest of the day. Bye bye.